Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to a brand new unboxing. Today is the last box from May, the owl was quite late because it's now June but I will forgive it because it had to fly all the way from America. That's right, we are going to be unboxing the May Wizarding World box from Loot Crate, they've actually changed up their packaging, I'm loving the Wizarding World logo so I'm very excited about that. I've also heard some negative things about this box this month but we're going to unbox Box it with an open mind. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. Let's go, because I am dying to find out what is inside. Okay then, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off by saying that May's Wizarding World Loot Crate box does feel quite light this month and it's quite small compared to most of the magical subscription boxes that we open on this channel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open it. We have a sticker and this month's sticker is the sorting hat and I have a little knife over here just to go through there. So let's open it on up and have a little cheeky sneak peek. I mean, it looks kind of empty to me, hmm, okay. Right, let's see if there's some hidden things under here. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with is the t-shirt and I'm gonna show you first. These are all licensed products, so what have we got here? Oh, it's a house-themed item. So I'm guessing if you're a Slytherin, a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw, you'll get a different colored shirt. That's actually quite nice and it's nice to get a red shirt as well. I'm not mad about that. No, I do quite like that. And we have the Gryffindor crest emblem here, which is the lion and it's a Loot Crate exclusive. So, I mean, yeah, I do quite like that it's nice to get a different color t-shirt and they are good quality and they're always a nice fit I get a size medium so okay we've got an okay start to the box let's see what else is in here and there isn't much in here I'm not going to lie Right, so I'm gonna get the next wearable item out of the way, which is also a house themed item. I'm pretty sure this month's box was house pride theme. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it definitely feels that way. So we have some licensed crew socks and they are indeed Gryffindor socks. And in fact, I think there's two pairs here. There's a Gryffindor set and also a standard Hogwarts house crest set. I do like those. I'm more inclined to like the Hogwarts house set more than the red one. But yeah, so there's two pairs. That's a little bit better. I thought it was one pair. And they do feel really good quality. I will give them that. These are made by BioWorld, which is definitely a company that I recognize when it comes to Harry Potter licensed stuff. So yeah, socks. I mean, it's like getting socks for Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> hey ho, let's move on. There's only three things left now. And one of those is the pin, which I will save till last. So the next thing, is also another licensed product and it's actually really nice quality but it's not like very big and substantial. This is a Gryffindor embroidery patch and as I said, great quality and I do like it. I don't really use these patches. Uh, they are iron-on patches if I'm correct. They have this kind of clear glue on the back. So yes, that is another item. I mean, so far I'm not that impressed, but there is one thing in this box which is exciting me and I'm gonna show you that thing next. I'm just gonna unwrap it before I show you it. So this is the thing that is probably the most exciting thing in the box. This is a really big necklace and it's a Gryffindor. I really like the front. It's a necklace clock, like a little watch thing. And I love the front of it. I think that looks really cute and elegant and like majestic, if you like. I really like that. I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of the clock face, it's kind of a little bit, I don't know, I've got some football vibes going on there. But as a closed watch, I quite like it. I think this is definitely the best thing that we have in the box so far. Uh, yeah, so we have that. What do you guys think about this? So yeah, the best thing so far, this is the fourth thing. And <laughs> I'm not joking, the box is now empty except for the pin. Okay, just bear in mind how expensive these boxes are. Uh, I don't know guys, I'm kind of getting really disappointed with Loot Crate, but let's see if they can recover themselves with this month's pin, which I've actually had no spoilers for, which is quite surprising. So the pins come in this cardboard kind of little mini pin folder, and it says Harry Potter on the front. You guys have seen these before if you've watched my other Loot Crate unboxings. Okay, I'm ready. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a lightning bolt enamel pin and it's black. So it says, neither can live whilst the other survives. Now, Loot Crate have always been amazing with their pins. Their Horcrux collection blew me away. They're some of my favorite pins that I have in my collection. I'm not sure that this one's hitting the mark, to be honest. It's a nice pin and I like that it's black because it means that it will go with a lot of things. But it hasn't wowed me like a lot of the other ones and that kind of disappoints me a bit. It's, it is a nice pin, I will give it credit there, but yeah, it didn't wow me and the pins usually give me the wow factor. And here we are, a nice empty box. I do like the design on the box, but I guess we're left with the Wizarding World leaflet. Again, they've got some really nice branding on there. Um, okay, let's just have a little look. So yeah, it was Hogwarts House Pride 2018. And yep, all of the items were House Pride. They were all Gryffindor for me, except the pin, obviously. And you would indeed get all of your items in your own house. Even the lockets, which I think is really cool, because most of the lockets that you can get that are Harry Potter aren't house lockets, they're just Hogwarts ones, which I do have some already. So yes, we have the Harry Potter enamel pin. Lord Voldemort made eight Horcruxes, though only seven, seven of them were intentional. Our exclusive Horcrux pin series. Oh, that's disappointing. This is a, um, this is part of the Horcrux series. I didn't really realize that, but I guess, I don't know. I th feel like they could have done a little bit better there. But yeah, it says our exclusive Horcrux pin series continues with Harry Potter's infamous scar. Number two is the Hogwarts Crest socks, a, which are here and you can get your own house. And it says, a wise headmaster once said, one can never have enough socks. I kind of believe that, I have so many. We're honoring these words by including two pairs, this one featuring the Hogwarts school crest. So yeah, I mean, they're socks, they don't really excite me to be honest, but hey. Number three is the Hogwarts house crest socks. Hang on, what? Oh, <laughs> okay, so they're classing both of the socks as an extra item. That's cheating. I know, you cannot do that. So this to me is one item. You cannot class this as two items just because you've got two pairs of socks. Sorry, no, not pleased with that. That's ridiculous. Anyway, show off your house spirit and keep your feet warm and toasty in these colorful socks emblazoned with your house crest. Yeah, that's one item. You cannot say that's two items. Do you guys agree with me? Let me know. Number four is the Hogwarts House t-shirt, which you would have got in your house color. It says, embody the strength and power of your house's mascot in this stylish tee. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a nice t-shirt, I guess. Number five is Hogwarts House patch. Add a pop of house pride to your scarf, cloak, or other magical accoutrement <laughs> with this embroidered house patch. It's a very small item, but it is very nice. Um, Hogwarts house pocket watch, which is the last thing, which is here. And this intricate carved metal pocket watch features your house mascot on the face and outside. Wear it as a watch or a necklace and never be late again. <sighs> okay. I agree with all of the people that have said that this was probably one of the most disappointing boxes so far. To me, it was a t-shirt, socks, patch, watch and pin. That's five products. We They cannot class this as two products. Have them separately if you're going to do that, but this is one product. This is one. They're being a little bit cheeky there. The only reason I have not unsubscribed to this box is so that you guys can still see what's going on with them and they are fun to open but oh boy have they been disappointing us lately and they kind of went a little bit downhill from January in my personal opinion. There's been a few really nice things but yeah, so we're gonna talk about the favorite things from this box. I think the pocket watch is gonna have to win this time. Everything else was a little bit, eh. Yeah, so oh, I'm really kind of disappointed that I'm so disappointed, which is a shame, but I will still keep subscribing to these boxes maybe until the end of the year and then I think I may have to unsubscribe from it. Yeah, I would love to hear your opinions because I know that many of you are also subscribed to the Wizarding World Loot Crates. Are you happy with them at the moment? Are you really pleased with the items? Could they be doing better? Because they're one of the most expensive magical subscription boxes that's out there at the moment and I'm not sure they're quite hitting 
the mark, unlike some of the other subscription boxes. Yeah, I don't think I have that much else to say on this box. I kind of feel a little bit deflated about it. I'm kind of annoyed that they're classing the socks as two items. Like, no, it's one. It's definitely one. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep it quite short this month on this unboxing. I guess we'll see if they kind of improve in two months time when we get the next one which I believe is in July. I would love to hear all of your thoughts down below as per usual I will comment on as many as possible I do read all of your comments and so yeah even if I don't reply you will know that I have read it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry that this one hasn't been the most positive unboxing. Um, there's always next month who knows Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> and I guess I will see you next time. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna go now.